You're very welcome back. Now it's November and the invites for festive drinks are soon going to be rolling in. But what do you wear to an office party that's happening during working hours? Well, Joanne Costello has all the answers for us this morning. Good morning to you, Joanne. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Um, it is tricky to know what the brief is in terms of what to wear and what's appropriate, particularly when, when it involves the office or your work colleagues. Yeah. Like, that's not necessarily a glitzy affair, is it? Not necessarily. It really depends on the actual office. And an awful lot of the offices now are doing an awful lot of day kind of parties. And you might also be brought up by clients as well. So yes. at all times, you have to remember you're in a professional environment. So not too much skin showing in general. Okay. Um, and just, again, you want to also kind of uh, purchase kind of versatile pieces that you're actually going to integrate to your own wardrobe. And you can sometimes it just be a case of adding one or two new pieces to it that would bring it into more of a party look, but still keeping that professional attire on on you because you know at the end of the day it's, it's really going to reflect on you professionally the next day so okay. you know what I mean if you look a certain way it's all about um, uh, I suppose per uh, perception okay so you really you want, want your it outfit to say the right things exactly well at the same time you know not being too formal either sure. you know okay well we have Emily up first this morning and Emily is going out for an office lunch. That's it, maybe. yeah. So this okay. is kind of a nice navy dress, which again is great for the office. Um, this particular dress could be worn with a blazer at work or even longer boots, so you kind of get a more professional look. If you're looking at something maybe in marketing, <clears throat> of that kind of a job, you get away with this dress. Now, it's um, we're starting off there now with the earrings. Um, they come from JJ Jewelers down in Wicklow Town. Really nice kind of antique, very kind of, um, just a really dainty type of an earring and matching necklace there. Um, really so good. simple jewellery. Price point, exactly. Keep it really simple, no rub bling bling kind of a look. Okay. Now, this particular dress is from Oh Hello Clothing.ie, which is a web-based um, store. Um, with this dress, you can see beautiful ruffling detail on the neckline, but you can also just pop down one of the shoulders there. And we can just show you can wear it in a Bardot style as well. So again, that's the type of dress, you could, if you're going out later at night, you can kind of change the look slightly okay. on it. Really complimentary, very, very kind of, really, kind of a lot of elastin in that um, dress, so really kind of sucks you in and gives you really good shape. And then just going down to a lovely kind of slit there as well. So that dress itself, really, really good kind of quality and also will work kind of day to night as well. And again, it's a case of, I said, popping on blazers and that to make it more professional looking. Okay. Now, with this particular now, some look... some might say this is a bit risque for an office environment, Joanne. Isn't um, it the slit said, right up the leg? Well, it's not too... Now, you have to remember also that our model's five foot nine, so on your average person, that, that slit actually won't come too far. It'd be about maybe two and a half, three inches above the knee, which, again, is okay. acceptable. Um, now, again, we see we bling this up with um, the clutch and the uh, sandals there in a kind of a copper colour from Aldo. So that's what you can do. You can just add a little bit of kind of um, accessories, and that'll change up the look. Because, again, if you had that with a more kind of subtle bag and kind of uh, court shoes, that would look have a totally different look to it, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. You can change up what you have, in the like you know to go out for something like that okay and then some of these affairs you know are going to go from lunch into sometime late at night of as course. well so you have to judge it based on your company now this look is from uh, Pat O'Burn menswear in trim and again it's always easier for the guys because they're always going to have that kind of a look that they can wear constantly whether it be in work or out and about now this is a stunning kind of blazer uh, coming in at 169 this is from Six Sense which is an Irish designer um, based in Mayo um, and underneath that, what we've done is we've just popped in a lovely kind of burgundy print shirt. Um, I don't know if we're going to pick that up on the camera, but again, it has a more casual look to your solid kind of work um, day one. Nice slim cut on that as well. So that's something, again, you can pop off the blaze. You've got your chinos and your shirt on. Quite casual as well, but again, popping on the blazer gives it a more professional, polished look. Yes. And that blazer is great because it's something, again, you're going to get a lot of wear out of, even in the office and with a pair of jeans. So you're going to get your casual and you're going to get your business look out of it. Then going down to these chinos, again, these come in a multitude of colours as usual. Um, nice dark navy, again, giving that professional look. Um, and then going down to these lovely brown um, shoes there, coming in at 65. So a really nice kind of professional look, but again, can be mixed and matched with your own wardrobe, so you're not shelling out a huge amount. Um, and that kind of a look, as I said, like it, it is day to night for guys. It is that bit easier for guys in the professional environment. Yeah, because... but the smart casual brief can be tricky for the lads as well, because they have their suits and they have their casual gear, and it's that middle ground. It is, that yeah, can yeah. Be a bit... So it's a case of that you can peel off and you're going to look that little bit more casual, roll up the sleeves, you know? Okay. And our last look here is from Ruby New Boutique, 
in Dundalk. So we are starting off with this um, lovely Harvey Paul um, blazer. Uh, it's in a gorgeous wine velvet. Now that's something that's obviously very much in this season is the velvet. But and again, every Christmas season, you're always going to get a bit of velvet coming in. So this is impeccably tailored. And if you can even just show on the inside of the jacket there, there is um, a little pocket like you would have for the guys. Lovely. And it's actually designed to hold items. So again, something if you didn't have a purse with it, put your cards, bit of money into it and off you trot. Beautifully lined as well. Um, the uh, the shirt there again, very different. Um, again, fully, it's 100% cotton with a satin sheen on it. And as you can see there on the cuffs, it's half um, stripe on the outside and full stripe on the inside. So if you're even wearing a little jumper that with it, you can change the look on it. And the same with the trim on the collar. Very kind of different. There's a lovely double collar on that. So all those shirts come in a number of kind of bold colors with different trims on the cuffs and the collars. Lovely details. Really, really thing. nice. Yeah. And that necklace there again from JJ Jewelers coming in at 25. It's sterling silver, rose gold plated. So a really kind of a nice dainty kind of a look with that as well. So this is looking at your more professional kind of a look then going down to the culottes and this is where you can change it up a little bit mm -hmm. if they're a leather look culotte but again nice wide leg and it's comfortable but again kind of gives that funky look to the you know that overall office kind of feel you know and then we're going down to these shoes and again as we're saying with the accessories this is where you can add a little bit more bling they are Christmas. party shoes they are they? party shoes they are Dorothy type shoes <laughs> <laughs> they're gorgeous huge detail on them and again picks up in a number of colors and that type of shoe would be great with even a totally black outfit because that's all you need those two little accessories would Br like bring it up and the matching touch there with it as well. So pretty. Um, are they leather, the trousers? They're, they're, they're leather look. They're a leather they look. They well, they leather do look and leather. They do look of really good quality. Really soft. Yeah, really good quality. Okay, you're going to stay with us, Joanne? I am indeed. Brilliant. Three more looks later on. Now, speaking of style, Darren Kennedy will be stopping by. See you in a few minutes. <laughs>